Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with another toy review and today I'm going to review a character that actually I'm not on the bandwagon that actually adores this character. Never found him to be that interesting or that I could actually take him seriously. But War for Cybertron Kingdom did a great job for Waspinator. I think he's a good mold and I wanted to have him in my collection because I want to have one version of each character from the TV shows and different cartoons. And um, he's, uh, he's actually quite good, the mold is good. We're gonna take a look at the figure and I hope you enjoy the video, but also please check my voice acting spotlight playlist, that's the main feature of my channel, something I'm quite proud of. But for now, let's take a look at the figure. Let's take a look at the insides of everything. First, the card, uh, Unicron. This is my second or maybe third one. Love this picture. Uh, even though it never happened in G1 or the War for Cybertron show that uh, the planet mode Unicron ate Cybertron. Uh, fantastic uh, card. The instructions, very simple. Again, here we go. Press pause whenever you're at the step that you think you need. There you go. Love instructions. Uh, the accessory, the, the gun. People uh, have been uh, complaining that it doesn't reflect what he had in the show, that it's too short, that it's just a stub. I don't care. It's, it's, it's good enough for me. And the box, which I should have started with. Um, I'm a, as you know, I'm colorblind, so I'm not seeing this as green, like the the actual figure. It's or it's not the same green. So, but nice detail. Uh, looks really good. Uh, the, the 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 drawing there. It, it 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 brings back so much memory from the Beast War show. Uh, product shot. And you have the Kingdom artwork. And you have nothing on top. Nothing on the back. Yeah. And no image. You remember Tigatron had a little tiger here. I don't know if it was a Lion King homage or anything, but um Waspinator doesn't have anything. Good box. And now the actual figure. He looks fantastic. Honestly. The only thing missing is probably detachable limbs so that you could recreate a couple scenes, but he looks good. There's a couple complaints that I do have though. First, he doesn't peg in, peg in super nice. He's okay now, but sometimes I'm having a hard time when I transform him back from uh, wasp mode. He's not connected properly. I think I got him right this time, but uh, yeah, it's kind of, I don't know, It's it, it, it just sometimes a little loose I guess. Articulations are good, we'll take a look in a moment, but the paint and the details, look at that face sculpt. Looks perfect. I don't think they could have nailed it better than that for this for this line. It's, it's crazy how much he looks like the character. The yellow, black on green with the detail, the bug eyes, the translucent purple is astonishing. I love it. The details are what every figure, like the paint and everything, that's what every figure from this line should have been. I enjoy this toy a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, the um, the only complaint I do have is the bug legs. They, I don't know, maybe they could have been detachable. I guess they are if you know you try hard enough, but it they get in the way so much. And I have a couple issues standing him because of. I don't know if he's that back heavy, but sometimes he falls on his back. Uh, slightly annoying, but you know you can get him in really good poses anyway. Uh, let's take a look. The head on a ball joint, so there's 360. Uh, sexy, yeah, he's 360. 360. Um, attitude back and forth a little bit, slightly. Arms will rotate, but the legs do get in the way a little bit. You have to move the wings out. Uh, the wings, 
fantastic wings. Uh, good rotation all around. It's yep. Yeah, it, it that's actually a really nice feature that they added that mobility on those wings is crazy. Uh, arms will uh, have a knee uh, elbow band like this. There's a rotation at the uh, muscle. There's one at the wrist, so the hand will do a 360. Uh, both arms will do that. And the legs would go around. Actually, I guess it does go around. You just have to angle it properly. You have a terrific, well, a 90 degree bend, but you also have, because of transformation, you can have a, you know, break your knee, but kick forward type thing. Uh, the ankle, oh yeah, there's an ankle rocker, but there's no back and forth at the joint, but there is, a, because of transformation, you can move the heel and the toe a little bit. And uh, you could actually rotate the waist 360, the joint is right here. Problem is, the head uh, is it's, it's completely in the way, you know, I mean, and it clicks and it, anyway, but uh, yeah, no, the articulations are good, posability is good, playability of this figure is great, especially if you've seen the show, you can try to recreate most of the scenes where he gets uh, hit in the head. Old husband eater, especially sick of getting blown to scrap all the time! Posability is awesome, you can have him in different pose. I'm not that great at posing figures because uh, somehow they always end up in the same stance, but fantastic figure. And now for some size comparison, which War for Cybertron Kingdom core class Rat Trap, which people have been giving him a hard time, but I think he's fantastic. Prime Wars Trilogy, I, I don't know which which uh, which wave, but uh, Braun, I think he's a uh, good uh, representation of the character and I wanted to compare him because of the color scheme. Generation selects Nightbird, a fantastic chroma repaint, and Bossbot Megatron, a fantastic leader class figure. And now for transformation, he's a bit tricky, I had to look up at the, uh, the instruction a couple of times. So what I like to do is move the arms out of the way, and then you're going to lift and you know, put the head like this. And here we go, Waspinator in Wasp mode. And from this angle, looks amazing. Not so much. But honestly, this, those wings, they remind me of uh, Buzz Off from Masters of the Universe. Uh, I, Buzz Off was one of the, my favorite uh, toy when I was a kid because of the wings. And um, I know these are completely different, but the translucent effect with the ribbing I think it, 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 I don't know, it reminds me of Buzz Off. Um, so I'm kind of glad for that because, like I said, I didn't really have any attachment to Waspinator, but uh, this toy I actually really like now. Uh, the the um, I can't take the character seriously still because he was a mess, but uh, one feature that would have been good would have been detachable limbs uh, because of the nature of the character and what they did with him. <laughs> Maybe that was too much to ask. The paint application on this guy is really good. The green, I, I actually never paid attention. I don't think that uh, wasps or hornets are green, but it, it's a fantastic look for him. Uh, the, this piece, the tail, I guess, or the abdomen, or the butt, really nicely done. There's a lot of holes because of screws and everything, but and that line here that separate for the gun that clips in. Uh, you know, it shows, but it's not that bad. And the legs blend in, you know, almost perfectly. You can see that the paint is not perfectly lined up about the other side. No, maybe that's just my copy or it's me mistransforming him. Uh, so I don't know. But uh, the legs, I wish the legs could in robot mode more. I wish they would be out of the way, but they fit perfectly for this you can't really tuck him when he's in flight mode 
I guess. Oh, see it unpegged. Uh, there you go. Um, you can obviously see all the legs and the arms, but from certain angle for, you know, if you want to take pictures with the figure, you can have a, uh, a decent uh, photo shoot with this guy. Uh, and then the, you know, mold details translate from the robot mode. It's quite good. Articulation for the head moves just a little bit. Uh, nothing else. The legs move a little bit. If you can, it's, that's the only rotation. Uh, but when I do it, I know it's tight, so it unpegs the, the legs very easily. But the wings have a very, very good rotation. And I'm guessing this could be a fantastic stop motion animation tool. I've seen Lazy Eyebrow do fantastic things in the past uh, with um, Air Razor um, comes to mind. And uh, I'm sure you can do some pretty crazy stuff with that. And now for some size comparison with Siege Impactor, one of the most unique mold we have. Cyber Battalion Shockwave, Studio Series 86 Sweep, or Scourge or whatever, and Studio Series 86 Slag. So there you go. Let's, uh, let me transform him back into robot mode so that we can have the final thoughts. Was we need to terrorize? In the end, Waspinator is a fantastic figure. I really do enjoy playing with him. Transformation is a bit finicky, but I can live with that. I actually enjoy putting him in wasp mode. I always display my characters in robot mode and I'll do the same with him, but I wouldn't mind having a an extra one to have that be uh, on the shelf sitting next to him. He's just that great. And uh, honestly, I wasn't going to pick him up because I didn't have that strong of an attachment to the character, but now that I did, I'm very, very pleased to have this guy in my collection. So thank you guys. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also leave a comment. I really love reading you guys. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.